How can I assess my recession risk as a software developer? I'm a junior dev who is just 10 months into a job at a startup, which I took out of university, and I'm terrified of losing my job due to the coronavirus. I have many friends back at university who have either lost their summer internships or had full-time offers disappear. My brother is a year behind me and he went from four offers to zip in under a week. My LinkedIn feed is filling with stories of rescinded offers, internship cancellations, and mega lists of layoffs and hiring freezes. I work for a small startup and want to figure out whether they are likely to survive this crisis. How would I conduct that analysis? I work for a small startup and want to figure out whether they are likely to survive this crisis. How would I conduct that analysis? Check their product and their customers. Are they still open and conducting business? If the customers had to close down, they won't buy anything and there will be no profit. Example, dentists are open and will remain open. If you sell software for dentists, that's good. Hairdressers in my country are forced to shut down by government order. If you sell software for hairdressers, that's bad. Check your own company. Can they produce their product with as much remote work as possible? Example, PC software can be produced anywhere. Software for devices need at least the device hardware at home, for example you'd need a Mac to produce an isomething app. Software embedded in cars for example is even more complicated. And last but not least, how is your company set up financially? Is it stable, or was it bought by some hedge fund to sink money into in exchange for market segment? If it was financially stable before, that's good. If it's an investor's money sink, that might be bad. So to make up two extremes, if your company sells a software where you can scan your own mouth in 3D with your Android device and send the file to your dentist so they can decide whether you need to actually be physically present and it connects to the existing customer base of dentists using your practice management software, you are golden. If you program software embedded into heavy-duty trucks for hairdressers in need of such a thing because somebody with too much money thought that might bring in money in two to five years? Well, might be time to polish your CV.